Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Maker Monday. Today we are going to be playing around with tissue paper uh, and uh, uh, some Mod Podge and well, we're going to do all sorts of things. First, let me pr uh, start by saying this tissue paper came from a much larger piece. I have more of it. You'll see more of it in a bit. This was wrapped around a set of flowers that one of my husband's cast members gave him for opening night, which I'm filming this on Saturday. So his opening night was last night for the Rochester Fringe Festival. He's doing a play called Train to Train. It is a play he wrote. And so this is not its world premiere. It actually has been performed a couple different places, but this is the first time it's been performed locally. So it's really kind of cool to see the audience's reaction because the other times it's been performed, we weren't there. So this has really been neat. It was a very cool production last night. So this is a big piece of tissue paper and I absolutely love the design on it. And I didn't even have to ask my husband to save it for me. He just went ahead and did it. He just saved it for me because he knows. So for this, what you're going to need if you choose to craft with me is something to spread your Mod Podge with. I am using a cereal liner underneath because I'm going to be doing a couple different things and I want to be able to move this off of my table. Besides which, it's going to give it a slightly different sheen to it. So my Mod Podge that I'm using, and I may have to go run it under water, this is a, a gloss, which was my mistake. I you generally prefer the matte but I bought the wrong one and I'm just gonna use it up and then when it's gone, I'll buy the right one. Okay, I'm gonna pause my video while I go and open up my jar. All right, I am back. I have gotten my top loose. If you ever get stuck like that where you have glued your top to the jar, hot water and some tapping with a nice metal. My mom always used to use a knife I just used a paint can opener because that's what was available right now. So there. Now this Mod Podge is about, uh, it's about a three to one. So I have three parts Mod Podge to one part water. Just thinning it down a little bit because I don't need a whole lot. Um, okay, so I'm gonna remove this for the moment. Set that on the floor beside me. And the first thing I'm going to do is spread Mod Podge solution-ish all over my... Another reason why you want to do this on wax paper, and you could use regular wax paper for it. I'm cheap, so this is a cereal box liner. We have enough cereal, and I'm only doing half of it to start with, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, let me set that there. I'm going to grab my cereal box or cereal liner or just right this is a tissue paper and I'm gonna put my tissue paper up here and use my spatula to just tap it down smooth it out there are a lot of different ways to do this this is just one of them this is the one I'm doing to start with we're gonna go through a couple different ways as we go through today's video moving some things out of my way so I have a little more room and can get back up on camera. I don't want the spatula. I want my brush. This is just a one inch foam brush. You can use any kind of brush that works for you. Um, and as you can see, this is going on fairly thin, which is just fine. I am, however, trying to make sure I hit most of the wax paper. down a little too too close to my belly there we go and now we're going to turn this over now my wax paper is a little bit bigger than my uh, cereal box liner so I'm not going to be able to use all of it but again I'm just spreading out this is because it's tissue paper and not napkin it's a little bit easier to spread and yes it's going to wrinkle I that's okay I that, that's that's expected all right 
I'm going to let that dry now and I will come back to this. I did this one first because I want to give it plenty of drying time. Don't worry, I have lots more. So I'm going to take again and to protect my tabletop, I'm going to put that down and I'm only going to take a small section of this. What do I want? I think I want just this part. So I'm going to come up. I've got to sharpen my scissors. And I'm only taking a little piece this time. And this time, instead of trying to make the rice paper out of it, um, I'm going to simply, if the top is this way, I'm simply going to, now this has, this is a piece of cardstock with a book page over the top of it. I had, it's in a four by six because this was, I was something I was going to make a, um, a postcard out of for jelly postcard play and then just never did. So again, I'm covering it with, oh, you know what I didn't do? I missed a whole step on the other one. I'll go back to it. Okay. We're going to come up like this now. And we're going to come out. And here you want to make sure you are getting rid of all of your bubbles. We're going to smoosh down all of the bubbles because otherwise it will peel up. So you, any wrinkles, that's fine. Just make sure they're all smooshed down and smooshed into wrinkles rather than bubbles. You want wrinkles not bubbles. Okay. All right, we're going to set that one aside. We're going to pull the other one back up because I realized I forgot a step. Okay. All right, bringing it back up. So I've done the bottom piece of it. What I want to do is the top piece. So now, and I'm going very, very carefully I'm going to actually pick a center piece here, and I want to do the same thing. I'm going to just go over it very lightly, and it will tear, so you do have to kind of be gentle with it. You're, you're not wailing on it, and it's easier to work from the center out. And again, I'm making, getting rid of the bubbles, and I am making a bunch of wrinkles instead. I'm coming from my centers out. And I'm just making sure that everything has a covering of the Mod Podge. Again, I'm using about a three to one. And I've seen different people using different ratios. You know, I would say just play around with it. Get what works for you. The three to one works for me pretty well, um, but if you want to find something different and let me know in the comments how it works. All right, while I'm doing this, let me talk about the comments. Thank you to all of you who commented on my last video, on Friday's video. That was wonderful to have all of you, to have that conversation going. And feel free to leave comments down below. I am trying to get my YouTube exposures up so that I can then offer you guys some cool stuff. Facebook does have some neat features, but I can't access them until I have 3,000 3, watch hours. So I'm, and they are also looking for engagement. They'll put me up on more people's home pages if they see a lot of engagement going on. So I am shifting here again and just coming in to finish this off. So we're going up again today. He has another performance today. So we'll be going up to see 
uh, Train to Train again today. That's at 3 o'clock at the Temple Theater. And then we're also going to see another play. I don't remember the entire title for it. It's a fairly long title, um, but it's a one-man show that was uh, written by a friend of ours. That's what's really cool about the Fringe Festival is it gives you an opportunity to see plays that you normally wouldn't get an audience because they're too small or they're just not very well known. Last night we saw a play by a with a string quartet. In fact, that's what it was called. It was called String Quartet. And it was an experimental piece of theater, which was, again, very cool because how often do you get to see experimental theater? Okay, I'm going to very carefully because now it's very wet. It's not wet on the bottom, so I'm okay setting this on my floor. Well, let me set that down. And now we're going to go to perhaps an easier way to do this. I'm going to again take another piece of my tissue paper, about the same size. And we're going to look at another way of, of attaching tissue paper to a postcard. And this one's actually a fairly large postcard. This was one I was playing with. It's on a piece of watercolor paper. And I didn't quite get it all the way, but we're close enough. All right, so for this one, I need glue, and I want my glue book. I'm going to do this one on my glue book, because I'm going to cover this entire postcard with glue. I want every part of it covered with my glue stick. So if you don't have Mod Podge and you want to use tissue paper, this is an alternate way of using it. And that's the purple is going to go away. Don't worry about that. I'm going to put this over the top of it. And you can see, well, you will see in a minute, when, once it dries, you'll see that the purple goes away. And I can just simply cut away the tissue paper that I don't want. And will I save this tissue paper? Absolutely, because that'll be really pretty up of another, underneath something else somewhere along the line. So that yes, that tissue paper will be saved. So if you don't have Mod Podge, um, it's going to be a very different look. Once the other stuff dries, I will come back and show you what it looks like. And we'll take a, a, a do a comparison, and you can see how the different methods actually look as a finished product. Okay, you ready to be surprised? So am I. And there we go. Now it's just showing a little bit of purple because of the. Uh, glue that'll go away and only what my ombre from underneath will show through. Isn't that cool? Real quick, real easy way to do things. I'm not trimming very well today. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. I'm going to come back when everything is dry and I'll see you soon. Okay, I am back because things have finally dried. You could probably speed up your drying process by using a heat gun, although I'd be very careful with the tissue paper um, or a hair dryer. Both of those would probably work just fine. So we have our one that we did with glue. The advantage to doing it with glue is it dries really fast. But if you notice, it's very much of a matte look. It's a very different kind of look. This is our the one that we did. I'm just going to pull that right off of there. Get rid of that and we'll go ahead and trim this one up. Now this one I did use a little bit. Uh, this one was a heavier cardstock than this one so it is a little bit um, I don't know what's the word I want to use. It's just a little flimsy. 
just a little flimsy and it is still just a little bit damp. So I am not quite, I probably should be waiting to do this, but I'm impatient and I wanted, I wanted to see how it came out. So I would leave these to go overnight, to dry overnight if you're not using anything else. I'm going to save that piece because it has some nice leaves on it. And there we go. So now I have two that I can use. I'm going to let this finish drying. And then I may choose to back it with something a little bit heavier because like I said, this the card Just popping in here to talk about this particular card again. What I did because it was so flimsy, um, I put a little, I went back and I found some packaging and I just, I did this. I put that on there and then, so now I have a little bit of packaging on there. So this now has some packaging. It has a um, piece of cardstock. It has the book page and it has the tissue paper over the top of it. So this now is a very sturdy card. This would probably make a very nice pocket. All right, back to the show. All right, so this one now how, how are we coming on this one? Is this one dry yet or am I still wet? No, nope, I'm pretty dry. And I'm going to go ahead and very, very carefully peel it off. And be very, very gentle with it. I have a spot here that is still damp. So I'm going to be very careful when I take this off of here and oh, that's a very, oh, I did rip it a little bit up there because I'm, it's a very large piece. Generally I don't work with such a large piece, but I want to use this as a journal cover. Now, this is the bottom part. You can see how shiny it came out? I kind of, I like that. You've got a matte side and you have a shiny side. That came out very, very nice. Now, I could just cut this off and use this on other journal tags. Let me see if I have a tag here close by. Okay. I could just put this on here and do other journal tags. Just glue it on like rice paper. I'm probably not even on camera. Let me pull you over here so you can see. So I just threw a little journal card underneath there. That I really actually kind of like how that looks. But I'm going to save it because, I, like I said, I want to make this into a journal cover. And that, I think, is what we're going to do on Friday. Now that we have prepared, because I want this to dry a lot more. All right. So we're making a couple of different, we're using tissue paper. To use, this is tissue paper from a florist. It's floral tissue paper. And making some cards out of it on this Maker Monday. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please leave a comment below and let click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. Uh, click the bell for notifications for when the next video comes out. And in the meantime... This is Cindy signing off.